When it comes to wine, people tend to be very picky about what they drink that they forget that what's holding it is just as important as what's in it. Hi, I'm Chi and today I'm going to be talking to you about wine glasses. I believe that the whole wine drinking experience begins the moment you hold that wine glass in your hand. It is essentially the bridge that connects you to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which is the wine. Today, I am going to be helping you pick the right glass to use depending on the wine that you're enjoying so that the next time you go to a fancy dinner or a casual meal or even enjoy wine in the comforts of your own home, you know that you're drinking from the perfect glass. The first question that I'm always asked is, Chi, do I go with crystal or do I go with glass? The answer to that, my friend, is really dependent on your preference and, to a certain extent, budget. Crystal glasses are beautiful. They are the closest you'll ever get to drinking wine from air just because they're so thin that there's practically no barrier between you and the wine. But they tend to be very tricky when you have to wash them. You have to handle them very gently and they also are very expensive. So, if you're a little bit more low maintenance and you don't want to spend too much, there are a lot of wine glasses out there that are made of glass that could give the crystal glasses a run for their money. These two are categorized according to the wine that is served and just looking at the form, you'll be able to tell which is which. The first red wine glass that it's most commonly used is the Bordeaux glass. The Bordeaux glass is probably the tallest red wine glass you'll ever encounter and there is a reason for that. You need enough head space between the bottom of the bowl to the top of the lip in order to give the wine space to interact with oxygen, to soften the tannins, and to allow the alcoholic vapors to evaporate. It is shaped just like any other wine glass. It has a base to keep it steady on the table, a stem so that you can hold your glass without touching the bowl because touching the bowl will alter the temperature of the wine and will also leave smudges on your beautiful glass. The stem also allows you to swirl the wine either on the table or if you're slightly more confident maybe a little higher and what that does is that it gives wine opportunity to interact with oxygen to soften the tannins and bring out the aromas and flavor compounds that are necessary to enjoy your wine. Again, if you like full-bodied tannic red wines like Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, or Petit Verdot, this is the glass for you. The second most commonly used red wine glass is the Burgundy glass. This glass is made for red wines that are made from grape varieties that have thinner skin, more elegant, a little bit more aromatic, and less alcoholic. So we, what you really want is to have your nose as close to the wine as possible to enhance your wine drinking experience. As the name suggests, this burgundy glass is for you if you like your Pinot Noirs or your Gamays or your Barolos and your Barbarescos. Since we're already talking about lighter bodied wines, let's talk about white wine glasses. This is your typical white wine glass. White wine glasses are meant to showcase aromas and maintain temperature of the wine. As you may notice, the bowl is not as broad or as wide as your other red wine glasses. That's because you don't need as much space for white wine to move around. What you want is to preserve the aroma, so you still give your white wine some space, but you also want to preserve those aromas in the glass, and that's why it tapers even more sharply towards the lip. So if you like your crisp Sauvignon Blancs or your aromatic Rieslings, this wine glass is the best glass for you. If you notice, in cocktail parties, people are milling around, walking around, holding a very slender looking wine glass in their hand while enjoying sparkling wine. That is called a flute. The shape of the flute does not give your wine as much space to move around because really what you want with your sparkling wine is to maintain temperature, keep it chilled for as long as you can, and also to make sure that the bubbles have enough headspace to travel vertically to stay intact. So if you like your cavas, your proseccos, your cremants, or your champagnes, this is the glass for you. Finally, I'm going to talk about one last glass, your best friend if you want to save on space and you're still not sure what wine glass to get. It's called the Universal Wine Glass. 
So this is the universal wine glass. It is a very versatile glass. You can use it for red or white, light-bodied or full-bodied, sweet or dry. This is the perfect glass for you if you're still unsure about your wine preferences and just want to have a glass handy at any time with any given wine. So if you are still unsure about what wine glass to get, this is probably the perfect glass for you. While it is important to know all of this, it's important to note that you don't need five to six different kinds of wine glasses to enjoy that bottle of wine at home. I suggest that you first ask yourself, what wine do I tend to drink more? And then choose a glass that makes that wine shine. So what about you? Do you have any glass that you prefer to drink from at home? We're curious, let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button below so that you will get notified for other wine classes and updates.